Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is Ephesians 3.20. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think according to the power at work within us. The Lord can do so much more. Way more than what we think. What we think that we can do because he does it and he uses us. He uses us. The thing I want to focus on today is breaking through cultures of resistance and people feeling like they're unloved. Cultures where people feel that you can't show you care about somebody or where people that, that do things, they do it not out of real care, but out of trying to excel. Uh, trying to seem like you care to move on to higher things. The difference between someone letting the God lead them and someone that is doing that is that when someone's letting God lead them, they really love them. So they don't care about what the culture says or what they do. Let me get specific. At work, I've moved on to a new position. I have nothing to do with my old place. But I go there and I change for work. And I just change for work. And I, I work out at the old gym where I see my old comrades. And they always work. Didn't you just move down to the building down the street? I change here. I go to the gym. They're like, oh, okay. It's not normal. If you move down the building down the street, I should have, a po a according to the culture, I should have to want to do nothing with them anymore. I am now down the street. But guess what, man? Nah. Yo, I change. Yo, I go to the gyms, but I actually care about y'all. I actually care about y'all. I love you. <laughs> and if that is so weird, where somebody actually does it, well, who cares? Because I'm going to break through to you that this life, that these things that I've been teaching you through the years, man, nah, I care about you. I care about your soul. Matthew 5, 14. You are the lie of the world. When you do things like this, when you say, hey, I care about your soul. I don't care what the culture is. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So that they may know more about God. So that they may come and know that God actually loves them. He shines through me. lets me show his love through me to them. But man, he loves them even more than I even love them, man. He loves you more than I could possibly love you. Even though he has increased my love for you. Even though he has increased my care for you. Even though he is breaking the culture about, about what is normal within love. He, no matter how much I can love you, God loves you more. And just this little snippet of light that comes through me is all coming from the Father. And it's so much more. It's coming from Jesus. And it's so much more than anything that I can give. Proverbs 4, 25 to 27, let your eyes look directly forward when you're loving someone and when you're breaking cultures of things and hurt and past beliefs. And I'm talking about also, I'm talking also about when you finally, if you're a single person, you finally find that relationship, man, you've probably had a lot of heartbreak and a lot of games being played left and right. Man, you make the culture, being a believer, 
If you're you you're not a believer, become a believer. But once you become a believer, you make the culture. Don't worry about what goes on and what the world says about your relationship and what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. Ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. It, I mean, it's evil to have cold hearts and, and, and to do things just because why? Can't show your care for you? No, 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 no. Galatians 1.10 For am I now seeking the approval of men or of God or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. Me, going back into my old facility. Am I trying to please man? Am I trying to please the system? Nah. I'm trying to please God, man. I'm trying to please God. I see these people when I see them. People, man, there's a lot of hurt people in this world today. There's a lot of people that question whether they should take another day of life, a breath. I want to be there in those moments. At least see, hey, I know Warren cares about me. I want to be there in case they ever need to come to me. I'm not looking for the approval of man. I'm looking for the approval of God. Dear Holy Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for having such a supernatural love for us, Father. One that we can never understand. And we are just such a, a dim light compared to you. And you shine through us and you still make it bright. Father, may, may we just let you shine. Let you shine. Shine through us, Father. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.